turn. Well, of course it's for a family day. Try a different for you. Thanks, Emma. Bend your knees, now stretch with ease. Bend nice and low, now up we go. Make a diamond shape, your legs move this way. This ballet step is called a demi plie. Thanks for joining us on World Ballet Day. Well, today is another ballet step. We're going to try. Thank you very much. This step is called the pas de char. It means step of the cat. Your legs pick up like a cat is jumping over something. Ready? Pas de char this way. Queensland Ballet Academy. Callum, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Emma. The Queensland Ballet Academy has let us borrow Callum for a few weeks while we tour all the way in Canada. It's so nice to have Callum here, and he's a wonderful ballet dancer. Callum, can you show us a degage, please? Oh, can you see his feet? To the side, a la seconde. Oh, a la seconde. Devant, oh, derrière. It's wonderful. Everyone give Callum a big clap. Callum is here to encourage all the boys to join in ballet too. And if you're at home, you might like to dance ballet with us. Thank you, Callum. Thank you, We'll see you soon. Right now, we're about to try another step. It's called the tongue levé, which means hop, jump on one leg. Ready? with the Lithuanian Ballet Company. And now, Johnny teaches with the Gelsey Kirkland Academy all the way in New York City. Thanks for joining us, Johnny. Thank you, Emma. Johnny, what's your favorite ballet step? Grand jeté. Grand jeté. Well, that might be a bit big to demonstrate in this space. How about a petit jeté? A little jump. Show us a petit jeté. Oh, that's lovely. Nice pointed feet. Give Johnny a big clap. Ballet. Johnny, we'll see you soon. See you. Bye. <laughs> ballet is lots of fun. You might like to try a few steps at home too. A port de bras, carriage of the eyes. Oh, oh my goodness. Lockheed. Can you hear that sound? Yeah. That's the sound of that music box. I wonder what's inside music box today. I open up my music box and what do I see? A ballerina twirling, dancing there for me. You can try it too. Twirl around the pie. Look at what my music box has given to me. Don't peek, Lockie. Ready? Come closer. 
It's something very special. It's very sparkly and very appropriate for World Ballet Day. Wow. Have a look. It is a fairy. And she has beautiful fairy wings and flowers in her hair. I know what we can do with a fairy. We can have a fairy dance. But have a look closely. Here come the fairies. that have been coming through. One question in particular was a question from Ava all the way in Calgary and she asked how do you wear your hair for ballet? Well it's a very good question Ava. Sometimes or most of the time you wear your hair in a ballet bun. Today I'm wearing my hair in pigtails but it's tied back off my face so I can dance. But I'm about to be joined by my friend Fairy Lucy and she's going to show us how to do your hair in a ballet bun. Fairy Lucy, come over. Oh, hello, Emma. Hello, Fairy Lucy. And what do we have here? Well, we have an Emma doll. Oh. And we are going to make a ballet bun. Oh, how wonderful. Have a look closely. So, Emma, do you mind holding these oh, for me? Yes. I have my decorations. My goodness. And my ballet, my ballet brush. Good. And my hair ties. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the hair. We're going to brush the hair so there's no bumps. That's a good idea. Just like this. Hey, would you mind holding your ballet brush? Oh, I'd love to. We're going to grab the hair tie. Tie up the hair, making sure the ponytail is into this, in the centre of the head so we don't get a lopsided butt. Lucy, can I show everybody the ponytail? Yes. Have a look at that. Lovely, Lucy. No bumps, you're right. Next thing we're going to do, can I turn this for you? Oh, yes. We're going to twist the hair just like this because it's easier to get into a bun. We're then going to wrap the hair into a bun like shape. And would you mind passing me the hair tie? Oh, yes. Grab the hair tie. We're going to place the hair tie over the bun just like this to create a bun shape. Now, depending on how thick your hair is, you may need a second hair tie. So, Emma, can I borrow that second hair tie? Of course. Have a look here. One more hair tie just to secure the bun, just like this, and we have a beautiful ballet bun. Now, Emma, the yes. next thing I'm going to do is decorate your bun. Wow, oh, how wonderful. Now, we have some beautiful ballet clips, and we have... You could also use a ballet bow, but we don't have that here today, ever, do we? Well, Lucy, I have a bow in my hair, and sometimes when ballerinas perform on stage, they might wear a tiara or flowers in your hair like yourself, Lucy. But today, Emma, we are going to use these beautiful ballet braids. So I'm going to clip the ballet braid into the top of the hair. Oh, good. Clip the purple one into the other side of the hair. We're going to wrap the braids around the hair just like this and there we have a beautiful Emma ballerina bun. Lucy I've got a surprise for you. I've brought an Emma bow. Would you mind putting it in? Absolutely. We look even more beautiful now Emma. Well I should say beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Ava for such a beautiful and lovely question. Thank you to Fairy Lucy for making the most beautiful ballet bun. You look beautiful Emma. <laughs> Thanks Lucy. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye Emma. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 
Ava, thank you. <laughs> Another question's coming from Thomas in Edmonton. And Thomas has asked, well, what about these beautiful ballet dollies? Well, for World Ballet Day, it's Dolly Ballet Day too. And I wonder how these dollies get to World Ballet Day. Have a look. Lockie's got the solution. Beep, beep. Lockie. Little Emma drives the yellow car. Little Emma drives the yellow car. Little Emma drives the yellow car to ballet day today. Little Emma jetes off the car. Little Emma jetes off the car. Little Emma jetes off the car to ballet day today. Little Emma practices her ballet. Little Emma practices her ballet. Little Emma practices her ballet today. Little Emma's wearing a beautiful dress. Little Emma's wearing a beautiful dress. Little Emma's wearing a beautiful dress to the ballet today. Good dancing, little Emma. Thanks, Lockie. Little Emma, let's hop back in the car. Little Emma's finished her ballet practice. Now she'll drive the yellow car to Little Bo's studio. Little Emma.